This is the Leadership Lessons Podcast, hosted by Pastor Daniel Williams, a podcast to encourage and equip church leaders. Brought to you by eeleaders.com. Well, hello, everyone. My name is Daniel Williams, and welcome to Leadership Lessons, episode number one. That's right, my friends. This is the first episode ever of this podcast, and today I want to explain to you a little bit of what it is, but also why I'm doing it. Uh, First off, if I've never met you before, uh, my name is Daniel Williams. I'm pastoring here in uh, Delray Beach, Florida, and I love what God has called me to do. I love our church. Uh, In 2011, God called my family and I from Washington State to plant Redemption Church, Delray Beach, Florida. And Delray Beach is in between West Palm Beach and Fort Lauderdale in the southeast part of Florida. God is doing amazing things here, and I'm just blessed to be a part of this community. Uh, At the time, um, you know, we tell people that it was the worst strategy and the best strategy because uh, we didn't know a soul. It was a parachute plant. Uh, So that was the worst strategy ever, but yet at the same time, it was the best strategy because God had specifically given us the call to come to Delray Beach to uh, follow Him and to make disciples. And so uh, it's been the best time of our lives. At the same time, it's been the hardest time of our lives. Uh, But we've just been so blessed to see Jesus work here in our city, in our community, and in our lives. Uh, It's just been such a blessing. We originally, uh, my wife and I were were from Washington State. I was born and raised in Tacoma, um, that's outside of Seattle, and was pastoring at Calvary Chapel Olympia, Olympia for seven years as a pastor, assistant pastor doing high school ministry, uh, worship, college age, men's, whatever they ask. And uh, it was so good and so great. God was doing great things in my heart and just called our family to start this new work here in uh, Delray Beach, Florida. And we've just been so blessed by being able to follow Him. Um, Our family has grown. My wife and I now are celebrating 15 years of marriage. Uh, I have a son who's 11, Jeremiah, and my daughter, Maylee, is eight years old, and it is a a privilege and an honor to be their uh, daddy, to be uh, be my wife's husband, just to be a part of our lives. And I really feel like ministry, we're doing this thing together. We're serving Jesus together, and it's just been so much... um, joy and so much excitement and just really a blessing. Um, I'm only 34 years old, so I recognize that I'm a fairly young leader, uh, but yet at the same time, I've just been blessed by uh, having godly examples in my life and serving Jesus even from a young age. Uh, I grew up in a a pastor's um, home. My dad uh, was a bivocational pastor all my life and continues to still be pastoring. Um, So I saw ministry up close and personal. My parents really lived out their faith, the gospel. Uh, It was real to them. Jesus was real in my home. And so my dad would preach on Sunday. And during the week, my dad would preach. Um, I really uh, respect my mom and dad. They really knew Jesus and served uh, our family well. And I'm excited to introduce you to my dad later on in this podcast and with another episode interviewing him and gleaning wisdom from him. But, um, you know, when we had holidays and there wasn't people at the church that had family, they would always come over to our place. We would give out bread. Uh, we would just orient our lives, even so much so I remember growing up uh, and going to bed at around midnight every night because my mom decided to homeschool us kids. And one of the reasons why was because my dad worked a uh, swing shift from starting at 3 p.m. to 1 in the morning. And so he, she didn't want to have us all kids wake up uh, him because he needed to sleep and then study and pastor as well. So uh, we would be homeschooled and go to bed at midnight and wake up at 10 a.m. And so we really oriented our entire lives around Jesus is real, the Word of God is true, and we're going to live for Him. And um, this faith really became my very own when I was 17 years old. Uh, God really did a work in my life. I saw other teenagers that love God um, and, and just really struck me. I, I saw that Jesus was real and I surrendered my life to Him and started my first Bible study at the age of uh, 17, taught to the book of James. Uh, my wife and I, Laura, uh, got married when I was 19. She was 20. I got my business administration degree when I was 20 years old, and then I started full-time on staff being raised up to be a pastor at 21 years old. 
Uh, from there, I, I served at Calvary Chapel of Olympia as a pastor for seven years until 2011, and that's when we planted Redemption Church and um, and moved down to, to Delray Beach, Florida. And so that's just a little bit about my history. And I, I say that because I want you to recognize uh, I am young, but what's very unusual is now that I'm 34, I started teaching the Bible 17 years ago. I started serving Jesus fully, wholeheartedly being raised up uh, when I was a teenager uh, to be a pastor, to serve, to just grow in ministry. And um, I can honestly say this, uh, with half of my life doing this, serving Jesus is totally worth it. Uh, he is so amazing. He is so incredible to serve God uh, and to serve His bride, the church, and to be a church leader. And so through this podcast, I want to encourage and equip you to do the same thing, to serve Jesus, to know what a joy it is to serve Jesus and His bride. Uh, I have a real heart for church leaders and, and love investing in people, and, and that is really what I want to do through this podcast. I just want to share the things Jesus has taught me along the way to encourage you. Uh, I'm young. I don't know it all. I'm still growing and learning. And that's why this podcast is called Leadership Lessons, because these are lessons that I'm learning that I want to pass on, but these are things that I'm growing in still and learning from other people. And so every episode is going to come out on Monday. I have a whole season. It's 24 episodes for a full season. And the podcast consists of lessons that I've learned along the way that I want to pass on to you. Uh, some practical wisdom, some um doctrine, some theology, just as I've come to see what's important in serving Jesus and practical wisdom and tips, man, I, I, I want to just pass those things on to you. And I consider it a joy and a privilege that you're even listening, that you would uh, give this episode and this your time to just learn from me. And I want to make this uh, these podcasts practical and insightful and, and worth your time. And so they're going to be full of content. They're going to be like sometimes Bible studies, some great interviews, uh, different things that will help you along the way. And hopefully they'll encourage you to continue to serve Jesus, to, to continue to equip you in how to serve Jesus in, in your context as a church leader. Along with this podcast, I've created eeleaders.com. And eeleaders.com is a resource for you. Well, I will post these videos individually. Yes, I say videos. You probably are listening to this, this podcast, working out or driving, but I actually am filming uh, videos and have filmed video of all these interviews, of all these lessons, of everything that I'm doing, so that way you can be resourced. And if you want to go back and watch it, uh, you can get notes from it, quotes from it. Go to eleaders.com and you'll see that this is actually on video format as well. And you can share with your team or watch it together with your team. Along with uh, the podcast content to encourage you and equip you, I also am going to have a weekly blog and uh, a monthly recommended book because I really do think leaders uh, are learners. And so just to highlight some things that I'm growing uh, through people, but also through writings and content in that way. And, and, and I know that I'm, I just don't want to pass on information that I've learned because honestly, I'm not that smart. I'm not that wise. I ask people to help me with this project. And so I, the real th thing that I'm really excited about is friends to introduce to you. And some of these friends are going to be giving guest lessons. Uh, and they're going to range from all sorts of different type of pastors. One uh, church planner locally right next to me in Boca Raton, Andrew Lundy. I'm having him share a guest lesson on how vision comes from Jesus. Or my friend over at Family Church in West Palm Beach, Executive Pastor Steve Wright, sharing on what is it like to run a meeting. I have Jim Gallagher who serves as Florida's regional leadership on Calvary Chapel. He's going to be sharing just the importance of being filled with the Holy Spirit in ministry. My friend over on the West Coast, he thinks it's the best Coast, but I don't think so. East Coast, Florida is where it's, where it's at. But my friend Pilgrim Benham, he's going to be sharing uh, about how ministry is hard and giving you encouragement in that. I have other people that are all over the nation. My friend Peyton Jones, uh, who's known as a church planning ninja. He has his own church planning podcast. Um, and he's just going to be sharing to you about team ministry. I have people from Calvary Chapel, Melbourne, my friend Brian uh, Saylor sharing a lesson as well. And so I'm excited not only to share my own personal lessons with you, but to bring in some of my friends doing guest lessons and also doing interviews. This is a chance for me to just ask questions and listen and to grow as a leader as well. Uh, I have a lot of diversity in these interviews. Friends from California, like Bruce Zachary, on mission and alignment. He's the director of Calvary Chapel Church Planning Network. 
I have people like Trip Kimball up in Jacksonville talking about how do you practically develop leaders. Or my friend Robbie Christmas, uh, who does a great church planning residency, talking about mentorship and how to raise up leaders and how to learn from other leaders. My friend Jason Sanchez, who's the House of Blessing director in Bishinova, Mexico, is going to talk to you about flexibility and what it's like to be sort of loose in planning and just trusting God in ministry. My friend Ben Corson over in uh, Medford, Oregon, we do an interview and talking about just how hard work, how ministry is hard work and the disciplines that you must have to, to just be successful in ministry and to be a faithful servant to Jesus. And I'm excited to introduce you to my dad as we talk about spiritual warfare. And one thing that we're going to do along with a guest lesson or an interview every single episode uh, is this video series that I'm calling One Piece of Advice. And I'm excited to bring this to you because this is just a snippet of wisdom that I've asked many leaders all over the nation to be able to share. And yes, I, I mean they're all over. Uh, I even have people that are outside just of the U.S. A few people sharing from Mexico. Uh, my friend and missionary friend who's planning a church in Madrid, Spain, Esteban. Or even Joel Turner, who's up in Canada. Big shout out to the Canadians. Uh, it's going to be fun to be able to introduce you to some friends and people that are all over the nation just giving you one piece of advice or counsel or encouragement to serve Jesus. I have a lot of great pastor friends, local Locally here in Florida, I have been so blessed in South Florida with an amazing and abundant amount of just godly wisdom and great encouragement and friendship and other ministers, other pastors. And so I have people from my own city, Mitch Thompson from the Avenue Church, John Panico from Calvary Chapel Delray Beach. I have people like Andrew Lundy. I have Dr. Warren Gage from Fort Lauderdale. My friend Pastor Raz down in Miami. I have Joe Harris over from Tampa. Adam Parsons from Orlando. Eric Souza from Jacksonville. And it's not only people in my community here in Florida, but friends that I have that have been blessed with just to serve Jesus with all over the nation. People from my home state of Washington, like uh, Kevin Day. I have people in Oregon like Ben Corson, or even some family members like my cousin over in Houston, Texas, Lewis Williams. And so I'm just so super excited to be able to share uh, their wisdom with you. One piece of advice that they want to share with you, uh, just how to serve God and give you encouragement. And the beautiful thing about this is, is it's a it's it's a whole bunch of backgrounds, ages denominations. I have non-denominational church leaders. I have people from Calvary Chapel, from Baptist, from Pentecostal, PCA, CME, uh, and just so many other guys. And not only church planners, not only senior pastors, but I have executive pastors. I have assistant pastors, college age pastors, people from all scopes of ministry to help you church leader and give you one piece of advice and uh, really excited to be sharing all of this with you and I, I just want to say I really appreciate all these pastors just willing to pour in to this community uh, I've been so blessed and so encouraged and learned so much as I'm just being poured into as they're just sharing one piece of advice one thing after another after another and so this is just going to be a three to four minute one piece of advice by all these pastors I'll have these uh, as their own individual videos in case you want to re-watch them or listen to them at eeleaders.com and I'll post them every Friday during this season so you could just be encouraged and share with your friends and others. And so here's the first one that I want to share with you. It's from my friend Neil Spencer up in Destin, Florida uh, talking to us about the importance of integrity. And so I hope you enjoy this one piece of advice from Neil Spencer. You're listening to One Piece of Advice, brought to you by eeleaders.com, a ministry to encourage and equip church leaders. Hey, my name is Neil Spencer. I'm a pastor on the south coast of Florida, and I've been asked to share with you one piece of advice. You know, as it relates to family, I've really seen in my life and in the life of my father, who was one of the first Calvary Chapel pastors in the state of Florida, that family really matters. And if it doesn't start at home, well, ministry doesn't start. You know, Adrian Rogers once said this. He said, ministry that doesn't start at home doesn't start. I think that's really true. And so one thing I'd like to share, just as a word of encouragement that I saw in my father, that I'm hoping to do with my four children, my eight-year-old, my six-year-old, my four-year-old, my two-year-old, Lily, Lucy, Layla, and Liam, and it's simply this one principle. Who you are in private 
is who you are in public, and who you are in public is who you are in private. You see, God's called you to be one person. Thank God there's not two of you, right? I'm sure your spouse would agree with me on that. But God's called you to be genuine, to be authentic, to be without wax. That's what that word sincere means. And I sincerely believe that when you are sincere in the home and in ministry, well, God blesses publicly who you are privately. And God always reveals who you are publicly to the private and from the private to the public. See, you can't hide from that. You know, the Bible is very clear. It says, be sure your sin will find you out, right? Well, it's not God that's after us. It's that sin destroys us. So let's be those that really believe Jesus. When he said that in the Gospel of John chapter 10, that it's the enemy that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus has come to give life. So in your life, may you just be one person. Who you are publicly is who you are privately. Who you are privately is who you are publicly. For me, Neil Spencer at the age of 36 years old, with four children at the age of eight, six, four, and two, and watching my father, who's been a great example of nearly 40 years in ministry, I would say, be one. Who you are privately, be who you are publicly, and who you are publicly, be who you are privately. May God bless you, and I hope that one piece of advice is helpful. Well, again, I hope you can see why I am so excited about this podcast. I'm looking forward to a great and full season where I could pour into you with guest lessons, with conversations, with my own things that God is teaching me, and all these One Piece of Advice video series. But the first thing I want to teach you is not just the what of the podcast, but the why. See, I don't want to just cover what we're going to be doing this season, but I want to share the why. And this is very important for us as leaders is when we share vision, which is a, a brighter future against the status quo or, or something that we want to do in the future that, that will actually benefit people. We don't just share the what, like we're going to have guest lessons. This is what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. But we share the why, the motive, uh, the reasoning behind it. See, we as leaders, sometimes we explain the what all the time because we see it in our head but we need to share not only what we see in our head and what we think but we also have to share our heart the motivation of what we're doing uh, is very very important when you're sharing vision and you you see this and you learn this even from the gospel right the gospel says that Jesus came according to scripture he died according to scripture and he rose according to scripture that is the what of the gospel but see the why is that he did this because he loved us for God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believed in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. And see, that why is so important because it motivates us, it stirs our heart, it woos our heart, and causes us to be transformed. And so, in this episode, I not only want to tell you the what of what this podcast is, Leadership Lessons, but I want to share the why. Why am I doing this? And maybe one of the first reasons I want to tell you of why I'm doing this is because 2 Timothy 2.2 has been an important life verse for me. It says, What you have learned from me in the presence of many witnesses, entrust to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. I've always wanted to pass the things that God has taught me to other people. I've wanted to be a disciple maker. And I've been so blessed to have so many godly people in my life to just simply pour into me that I want to be faithful to the things that have been entrusted to me and pass those on to people that can pass them on to other people. People like you, church leaders, someone that's making disciples, that's serving Jesus faithfully. I just want to encourage you and, and give you equipping to do what God has called you to do uh, so that way you can be faithful, so that you can grow. One thing that I always tell people is I want my fruit to grow in other people's trees. Meaning, I, I can't and I shouldn't do this thing alone. I want God's kingdom to grow, not just my own name. And so I believe not one of us is as good as all of us. And I'm hoping that I can create a community here where we can grow together. As I ask friends to, uh, to pour into your life and to speak into you, I'm hoping that this will build community and will encourage all of us to grow as leaders. And it seems like this can be a hard and daunting task. I, I'll tell you right up front, this has taken a lot of work to put together a season, to put together video, a website, all this different stuff. But I believe it's going to be worth it. 
Because I, at first I had so many doubts, like who am I to share with other godly leaders and even my friends? I mean, I should always be learning from them. I don't know everything. And I just want to agree and let you know, I don't know everything. But I believe that the things that I've been called to are the things that God has taught me. I need to pass those on to other people. And so I'm excited just to do that. Not to say and arrogantly that I know everything, but to say, hey, these things that I've learned over these years and even these months and these weeks serving Jesus, I just want to pass that on to you. I just want you to grow from that. And I think we're all able to grow and do the things God called us to as we abide in Jesus. See, in, in verse 1 of chapter 2, Paul told Timothy, You then, my child, be strengthened by the grace that is in Christ Jesus. See, I, I believe that as we all abide in Jesus, He helps us bear fruit and to mature and to grow. And we should, we should pass those things on that we're learning to other people. Ministry should be done out of the overflow of our hearts. As we're receiving God's grace, uh, we should be able to just pass that grace on to other people. And so I, I want to give you that example. I want to share and stay, stay straight up. I'm not an expert, but the things that I have learned, I just want to pass those on. And that verse has been so important to me in this context, this situation, uh, this mean of technology, podcasting and video and website stuff is just another way for me to apply that verse. Because as I'm receiving, as I'm a local pastor in a local church, I just want to be able to pass those things on to other people. I'm praying that this, these leadership lessons will be important not only for uh, all those people out there, but personally, my friends here in South Florida, in my own community, in my own church, the leaders, the people that I love and pray for daily. I want to tell them like Paul told others, imitate me as I follow Christ. And so Paul would also say in verse 23 of chapter 11 in 1 Corinthians, man, for I have received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you. And so this has really helped me as a leader to just articulate the things God has shown me and how I've grown. And so I found following Jesus is an important part of following Him is just passing those things you learn on to other people. And so I'm blessed. I'm honored to be able to try to do that, to try to encourage you, to try to equip you uh, by doing that because honestly, others have done that to me. And that's one of the reasons why I want to do this is because I cannot believe, truly believe, how incredibly blessed I am by the relationships I have, by the friends that I have here in South Florida. I've been so excited to be able to share their wisdom with you as well, not just to build my name and all the stuff I know, but honestly, I'm so excited about the One Piece of Advice video series, the guest lessons, the interviews, and if you hear something that I've taught, even as my own lesson, it's just because someone poured that into me. It, nothing is new under the sun. I'm just saying in my own language and processing those things. And so I want this podcast to not build my name again, but to help build God's kingdom, to encourage and equip you so that way God's kingdom to grow. And I just want to give back. I've been so blessed, consider it such a privilege and honor to be able to learn from some such of these um, godly leaders and all these people that God has connected me with. And, um, you know, as I've been having amazing conversations with them, I'm like, you know, what? it would be a great thing to record that so that other people could know, other people could learn. And uh, I've just been so incredibly blessed by all these relationships. And you know, I still want to and need to grow as a leader. And I consider it being so blessed to be able to learn from these people. They've been so helpful to me. And it's been helpful for me to start EE Leaders as a ministry uh, to be able to try to pass these truths on to you. Because having a posture of learning has just blessed my life. You know, as James 4, 6 says, God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. We need to be consistently learning and humbling ourselves. I think of the Dead Sea. The Dead sea. It's, it's so high and full of salt and things float there. And one of the reasons is because there's, there's just channels of water going into the sea, but there's no outlet. And this has just helped me so much to process, to write things down of why I do what I do and to train other people. Because now I'm having an outlet to pour into people that I love my leaders at my church, uh, you watching this, whether you be locally in, in Florida or outside of the state or, or wherever you're from, this has helped me as a leader to have a posture of humility and to learn and to be able to learn from people that God has placed in my life. Leaders need to be learners. And I recently came across this article by Harvard Business, uh, the Harvard Business Review, and it's called, Good Leaders Are Great Learners. 
It says this, although organizations spend more than $24 billion annually on leadership development, many leaders who have obtained leadership programs struggle to implement what they've learned. It's not because the programs are bad, but because leadership is best learned from experience. One research on leadership development shows that leaders who are in learning mode develop stronger leadership skills than their peers. And see, starting this podcast has helped me to be on, on, on learning mode, on learning how to articulate what God has taught me, on asking people questions, on depending on the Holy Spirit and abiding in Jesus. And for me, this podcast is application. See, God put this on my heart to do it. And although it's a scary thing, and I may feel ill-equipped for myself to do this type of podcast, to speak into other leaders, God has given me this call to just continue to encourage leaders and to pour into them the things that He's poured into me. And it reminds me of the words of Jesus, where He told His disciples, if you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. And see, I pray that these beautiful reminders, the things that I'm bringing up to you in these, this podcast, that you'll be able to apply it right from the get-go. Like Proverbs 23, 12 says, apply uh, your heart to instruction and your ear to words of knowledge. I want to challenge you right from the beginning. If the Holy Spirit teaches you something through this podcast, that you would implement it, that you would pass it on to other people, not simply even by sharing the podcast, but in your own words, processing it and then putting it into your own ministry context. Because when you apply God's truth to your life, man, you will be blessed. And so I believe there's nothing better than doing the things God has called us to do. And see, by God's grace, we're able to do those things He's called us to do. And so I have a real heart to encourage other leaders and really love them. And I I love you. Many of you are friends, pastor friends, people that I know that are just listening to this. And and I really want this to be a blessing to you. You you are like heroes of the faith to me. Um, I grew up knowing what ministry was like. Having my dad be in ministry full time and appreciate those that serve Jesus. Whether you're uh, a senior pastor, an assistant pastor, or uh, a ch- children's worker, a church leader, as a church leader, you're influencing people for God's kingdom and making disciples. And so I'm so encouraged and blessed by the work that you're doing for God. And I know how real spiritual warfare is. And so I want you to know that I'm praying for you. I'm on your side. I I want you to do the things God's called you to do. And I just hope that this is personally a blessing for you because I know how important it is to be encouraged in ministry. And I want to do that for others. And I consider it a great joy and a privilege to call some of you friends. And if I haven't met you before, you just came across this, I want to be a friend to you. I want to be an encourager, an equipper to you. I want to bless you. That's right. One of the reasons why I'm putting all this time and energy and bringing my friends together for this podcast is to encourage and to equip you, EE leaders, encourage and equip. Whether you're one of my pastor friends, uh, whether you're a leader in my own church or a friend I've just never met, I want to create a community where we actually can encourage one another, where we can learn from one another, and we can continue to serve Jesus together. Honestly, I I wish that I could meet and hang out with all of you. That's why I'm trying to record this video like I'm leaning in and we're sort of having a conversation um, because I I wish that I could just sit down and have lunch and conversations with so many of you, but I don't have time for that. And, And honestly, neither do you because we're all doing different things God's called us to do. And so that's why I wanted to create a platform and a community with EE leaders to just give us a community to spur one another on to encourage us to do the good works God's called us to do. And I would love for you not only to know that you're, you're being prayed for, but I would love to have your support for me as well, for you to pray for me. You know, Paul, he was one of those guys and he asked for prayer. And, and I would just do the same type of thing. I'm certainly no Paul. Uh, and if Paul was such this amazing apostolic leader that needed prayer, someone like little old me starting a podcast can use prayer as well. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to serve Jesus. I'm trying to raise uh, my, my kids, trying to be a godly husband and love my family and, and just to make disciples here in Delray Beach. And, and I need encouragement. I need, um, honestly, a lot of equipping myself. But I know that you're a real person. And uh, I would like just to ask you to support this ministry by just simply praying for us. 
And listen, you're going to understand that I don't know everything, okay? These videos, some of them are going to be a little bit out of focus. The audio sometimes gets messed up. Even in this this first podcast, there was a thunderstorm that just came through and it was raining. And so uh, we're going to learn and grow together, okay? Uh, it, because I believe it's better to move a moving truck than a parked one. And so we're just gonna build this airplane as it's flying, as they say, and uh, we're gonna just try to build a community that honestly is seeking Jesus together and trying to advance his kingdom. And I would love to have you support this ministry by participating, not just praying, but participating. And the way that you can do that is simply by listening to these podcasts, putting these things into practice. Listen, it would bring me no more joy, uh, or no greater joy than if you just could get something from the Holy Spirit from these leadership lessons and just apply them to your life, to bring you closer to God, to help point other people to Jesus. Man, and so participate in that. Listen to these leadership lessons. Lean in. Go back and and watch them on eeleaders.com or or get the notes and those type of things. Um, Let me know what topics you'd like for me to cover. Uh, If you want to participate in the One Piece of Advice video series, maybe I'm in a relationship with you and I I didn't ask you. It wasn't by purpose. I'd love to have you participate. Or maybe I've never met you before and and you're listening to this and you're like, man, I would love to share what God has taught me. Uh, I would love to do an interview with you or have you do a guest lesson. Just shoot me a line or email me at daniel at eeleaders.com. That's daniel at eeleaders.com. I'd love to hear from you and let to see, to hear from you and let, let me know how this is encouraging you. Also, you could find us on social media. EE Leaders, you can find us the handle on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and YouTube. Just search EE Leaders. Um, and you can also go and not only enjoy the podcast, but man, participate by listening, um, by reading the, the weekly blog or buy a recommended book that I, that I would recommend to you. I'll try to do that once a month, giving you quotes and recommendations from things that I'm learning and I'm growing and that have really impacted my life. And there'll be other resources uh, on the website, eeleaders.com. And so if this podcast has blessed you, help me spread the word. Listen, my marketing budget is you. I have no budget financially. It's you. And if it blesses you, share with other leaders, other people in your church that you're serving with, with your team. Share the podcast. Uh, Go on social media and give us a a like and and share and tell other friends in ministry. Uh, Another great way to help spread the word and participate and just just let other people know about it is go to iTunes, write a review, go to Google Play and write a review of this podcast. As you are being blessed and encouraged by it, I want you to participate, to be a part of this. I want this to be a conversation and things that I'm learning, pass it on to you. And so I really appreciate your time. I appreciate what you're doing for God's kingdom. I hope that this can be a help to you, that it can encourage and equip you to do the things that God has called you to do for his kingdom. So on the next episode, we're going to talk about the importance of knowing your calling. Because I know that many of you have been called to great and amazing things for God's kingdom. And I want to give you some practical tools and some important questions to ask yourself to discern your calling. And so we'll be discussing how to know your calling. Thank you so much for listening to this first, very first episode of Leadership Lessons. I've been your host, Daniel Williams, and I hope really that you've gotten a sense of what this podcast will be like and why we are doing it. Uh, And I'm just excited. I'm excited to grow with you as a leader. Till next time, be blessed. Thank you so much for listening to this Leadership Lessons podcast. You can watch all the episodes and get all the show notes at eeleaders.com. If this podcast was a blessing to you, I would love for you to share it with your friends on social media. You can find us on social media at eeleaders. You can also help us spread the word by simply writing a review on iTunes or Google Play. My hope for you with this podcast is that it will encourage you and equip you to continue to serve Jesus. Because remember, there's nothing better than doing what God has called you to do.